This is the first round of the British Open. It's an international event which is held every year at the International Agility Festival and people qualify at that event to come here and compete at Crufts. So, there'll be a, an agility competition later on during the day and they will add the scores together of the two competitions to find the eventual winner. So, how are we doing? Into the weaves. Must enter from the right of the first pole and in and out alternately after that before they move on to the next obstacle. Here we go. Across the face of the tunnel. Lots of encouragement there from Angela. Bearing in mind that we don't usually compete on carpet. Everything's normally done outside. And that's a lovely start there for Angela. 46.07. Okay, so just to let you know that 36 seconds is the course time. So just a couple of faults on the time there for Angela. So next we've got Jeff Walton. And he's got a lovely little Shetland sheepdog. This pair are from Oxford. Chasey and Midnight Special. And Jeff runs uh, Scallywags dog training in Oxford, so he better do well because all his... Uh, Pupils will be uh, telling him where he's gone wrong. Nice little controlled section there as they come into the weaves. And a quiet shelter, how about that? So, turning around back across the face, showing nice control. Nice and tight, that's what it's all about. It's not all about out and out speed. Back in again. Yeah, what a nice run. Well done, Jeff. So, 42.06. So the third of our small competitors is Dawn Weaver with Puzzle. Dawn, very experienced competitor, represented the country in the last 12 months at the World Championships and the European Championships. Always does very well. Lovely little dog, this one of my favourite small dogs, I have to say. I know I shouldn't have favourites, but it just looks as though it's gliding across the ground. Just seems to float. Very tight. Dawn does have to work very hard with this little dog. One slip, and it's in the wrong obstacle. Bundle of energy, she says, rules her household. And she's got one or two dogs as Dawn at home, so does pretty well to rule all those. Look at these turns. Dog paying attention, handles the carpet really well. Just a couple more to go. Yes, well done. 36.06, just picking up 0.06 of a time fault. Only four years of age, quite young. You can see, very keen. Got a lot to say for itself. It's this dog's second time at Crofts. Remember seeing it last year when it was here first. And it's certainly picked up a bit more speed now, a lot more confident. She said, a very simple, happy little dog. She said, it's always away with the fairies most of the time, she says. So you certainly hear her coming, wouldn't you? But she's having a great time, and that's what it's all about here at DFS Crufts. Having healthy, happy dogs. Look at this, is she going to be in? Yeah, she is, 36.7, and it puts her into second place. Right, ring party, go. And this is Inga Dillon with Zen, with a Pyrenean sheepdog. Six years of age. Don Juan of Noble's Kingdom, fortunately just picking up five there, but uh, bearing in mind there are only four in this height category, so whatever happens, you've got to keep going. I think I said it's her second time at Crufts. And this is a Belgian agility champion, would you believe? Because that's where this pair come from, Belgium. That's the beauty of the pet passport scheme these days. Dogs being able to travel over Europe. And a lovely round there, well done. So 46.53, a couple of time folks, and a refusal.
So next to go with one of our gorgeous Obey Shelties is Bernadette Bay. Another tremendously experienced international competitor, representing her country on a number of occasions. And this dog is Obey, Opportunity Champion, Obey Truly Balanced. This pair come from West Sussex, this dog is now eight. And she's actually representing Great Britain six times at the World and European Championships. So a lot of experience here, not only in the dog, but also in the handler. This dog is well used to working on carpet. So I was going to say earlier on, most of the competitions that we hold week in, week out are held on grass. And it could be sometimes if it's the first time they've seen an artificial surface. It does take a bit of getting used to. This is a particularly good surface though for the dogs, as you can see. Having no trouble with it at all. Come on Ed, well done Bernadette. 37.01. So just picking up 1.01 time bolts. But that puts her into the lead. So next to go is Liz Finchett. Young dog this, three years of age. Corkera, a working cocker. And bearing in mind in agility, we can't start competing with our dogs until they're at least 18 months of age. That's to make sure that they've matured, uh, not only physically and mentally, although some dogs never grow up. Also to give them a chance to get some training in so we're not tempted to do too much training too early. So 18 months is the earliest you can compete with them. And the only stipulation is that they must be registered with the Kennel Club, either on the pe pedigree register or the activities register. So you can do it with any type of dog you want. And Liz, I think, is clear at the moment. Just a couple more turns to go. In and out. Well done, Liz. 41.67, just picking up a couple of time bombs. Do beg your pardon, she must have picked up an elimination there somewhere. So, next to go, from France. So again, another one of our European competitors. From Tannis in France is Melaine Emmanuel with Aqua. This is an Australian Kelpie, five and a half years of age. Aqua de Royal Perigold. Been a member of the French agility team since 2008. And it was actually a gold medal winner in the 2008 French team. And also a bronze medal winner in the 2010. So again, another very experienced dog, still only five and a half years of age. Nicely into the weaving poles. And just showing a bit of control, having to take them across the face of that tunnel. A little bit wide there, just not coping with the carpet quite as well. Nice tight turn, in and out. Come on, Malay, well done. Goes into second place in the same course time, 36 seconds. So this is Mark Saunders, he's from Crawley in West Sussex. And this is the dark Adasha of Clybon. A little bit of tactics also come into events like this where you haven't got big entries. There's only six in this large. It is a two-part competition, so anything can happen with only six in it. So you'll have an eye to this afternoon's agility round. It's not all about going out and winning this one. This is a rescue dog, as many agility dogs are. Really does wonders for the dog's confidence. So just a few more jumps to go. Mark taking it quite steady as we come down now. Just one more to go. So that's Mark Saunders and Dash. 40.88, so he picks up 4.88. Did I hear someone encouraging somebody then? Goodness gracious, nice to hear. So anyway, now we've got Mr. Alan Bray. Uh, again, uh, an, another very experienced handler. Seems to have been around for a long time as Alan. Well, he has. This is his five-year-old Border Collie, Rose Marinus, Rum Rose at, at Up and Over. And this is actually uh, Alan's wife's dog, who's qualified, whilst James ill. So he says that the dogs had to put up with him, unfortunately. Jane, of course, is a much better handler. So, making sure 
The dog understands what he wants of it. And you'll see Nancy's hand go up, which signals a fault. And on that occasion, it was a refusal because the dog missed the entrance to the weaving poles. If you wonder why Alan took them back again, it's because if you don't complete them correctly before you move on to the next obstacle, you're eliminated. And as I said just now, you don't want to be eliminated in a competition like this. Five faults in a two-part competition could still see you in there. So come on, Alan. Well done. So puts him into second place, picking up just a few time faults and just the five for the refusal. So now sporting his uh, Union Jack baseball cap very proudly is uh, Ian Jackson, member of the European team and representing the Kennel Club this year in the Czech Republic. Did fantastically well. This is only a young dog, still four years of age. Border Collie, Darley Falls at midnight. So she, uh, she's won her first championship ticket. Uh, in the last 12 months, from 2010. She's a great dog to own, not only for agility, but also as a pet, and that's what these are. We don't have any professional agility dogs in this sport. They're all family pets, first and foremost, and then this is just what they do for their enjoyment. So Ian's an electrician from rugby, so he's had to come a long way today. Very enthusiastic dog, this. He's trying to get some tight turns. Just a couple more to go. Just the five at the moment he's carrying. So I was going to put him in with a chance. Well done, Ian. Just that pole and a couple of time poles. So just checking that the tunnels are in the right place and also that they're safe for the dogs to go through. And just setting his dog up is Lee Windiat. This is Bolt, seven year old now, this dog. Border Collie, seems to have been around a lot longer. Again, another very experienced dog, very experienced handler. Lee has also represented Great Britain. Just making sure he's got his bearings, where he wants to be. It's very important that you're where you want to be. Helps the dog. All about communication, this sport. The dog has to know where you want it to go. He hasn't seen the course before. And none of the handlers have seen this course before. Nancy's designed this course, and the first time they would have seen it is today. So a bit of quick thinking there. Not letting the dog take the wrong obstacle. Just checking the scoreboard. And unfortunately, they're picking up an elimination. I think that was on the weaving poles. But we'll go to the end anyway. Well done, Lee. Put your hands together for Lee Windia. So, two more to go, and now this is Michelle Johnston, she's from France. And this is Asa the Border Collies, nine years of age, this dog now. I said earlier on that you can't start competing with your dogs until they're 18 months of age. There is no operation of it. The dogs will tell you when they've had enough. They don't usually want to stop, but you'll just notice them not being as keen or as enthusiastic as they were. It's always that the mind is willing and the body is sometimes not, but this dog's nine years of age, as you can see. Agility really does keep your dog fit and healthy. Fortunately, just knocking a pole there. But I say, all is not lost. It just needs to try and keep the dog on track. Nice tight turn there. Reverse turn gets herself on the right side. There we go, just one more to go. Well done, Michelle. That's Michelle Johnson with Asa from France. And finishes in third place. So our last competitor in the large and our last competitor in this particular competition is Anthony Clark. And he's running gas. This dog is almost four years of age, not quite. The border collie, Nedlo, step on the gas. Anthony St. Gloucestershire runs his own dog training school. And they actually won the British Open event at the KC Festival in 2010. And this dog is a great seven dog, which means it's competing at champ level. Very biddable dog, he says. Always wants to please, very easy to live with. 
And you can see Anthony giving a very clear command to the dog, leaving it in no doubt exactly where he wants it to go. Always gets a nice tight turn there. Just making sure. Nice and tight round there. Come on, Anthony. Well done. And that's Anthony Clark and Gas. Picking up 3.07 times. So we're going to start off with the smalls. And the winner of the first round of the British Open small category is Dawn Weaver with agility champion Tom Rin. Just a puzzle. And the winner of the medium category was Bernadette Bay with agility champion Obey Truly Balanced. And the winner of the large category, Anthony Clark, Nedlow, Step on the Gas. So well done to all of those. We're going to ask them to do a little lap of honour just so that you can give them a final round of applause as they leave the arena. Thank you very much.